again. Got my special Honda parts to test the airbag without exploding it. Uh, first thing we're going to do, though, I think... The phone has been connected. That's crazy. It's in a house. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yep. We're still throwing the code. It comes and goes. But, uh, we'll see. I'm going to do a full code scan and then see what we got. Which is kind of scary because I haven't done that since I uh, replaced that module and been driving. It's been driving great. Getting 50 plus miles to the gallon fairly easily. And uh, so we're going to do a full code scan and I'll bring you back once we have the answer. See what we got. Alright, she's thinking. But so far so good. There is a code in the uh, SRS, which I know, I expect it to be the B111-01-13, which is my increased resistance on the driver's airbag. So we'll let this complete, and then we will double-check that. <clears throat> All right. Everything else is good. Yep, 00113. Same one it's always had. Nothing's deployed, I don't believe, but let's find out. TRW made the computer off, unbuckled, off, off, unbuckled, off. Okay, so nothing's deployed and everything's reading properly. So we're going to go through the diagnostic that I have over there on the chair, which is popping the bottom panel off of the steering wheel, disconnecting the battery, hooking something to both the airbag and the clock spring, and then rechecking for this error code to see if it comes back. So, that's what we're going to do. Alright, well, we have the code. It's duplicated. Got to go turn the ignition to lock. Disconnect the negative cable from the 12 volt battery and wait three minutes. Disconnect the access panel from the steering wheel, which is this little guy back here. So we're going to go pop the battery and then pop that cover. All right, well, that came off easy enough. Cool. All right, so we're going to give it another few minutes, and uh, then we're going to carry on. All right, so... Here's the connector, and it just pulls straight out. It slid in there. It just pulls straight out. Now i got to figure out how to disconnect it. I'm sure these black things look like locks or something. So, I'm going to... Yeah, it looks like i got to pull that and then pull it apart. So, back in a minute. Yeah, that's what it is. You just got to pull this little spring-loaded duder or back and then they pull apart so now I'm gonna see all right where are we got now all right move uh -huh. okay we did disconnect the airbag connector done okay connect the terminals of the SRS simulator lead to the SRS inflator simulator Got all that done. Connect the SRS simulator to the driver's airbag inflator 4P connector on the harness. Okay, going to do that. And then we're going to reconnect the 12 volt. Alright, 12 volt is connected. Now it says to clear the DTCs. Come on. Turn the key on first. Yep. Okay. We got no trouble code. For right now, now what? Okay. 
turn that back off. Turn it on. Just wait 10 seconds and see. Sometimes it takes a little minute, sometimes I gotta start it up, sometimes I gotta put it in drive before it throws the code. So I may end up having to do that, so we'll be back. But right now there is it is not throwing a code. Alright, well the simulator is still hooked up. I've started it a few times, backed it up, going forward, shut it down, done a few more things. Hey, charging system's working good. Um and Yeah, that's my problem. I got a bad airbag. Is DTC code indicated? No. Opener increased resistance and driver's airbag first second inflator. Replace the airbag. That's depressing. Yet another $500 part. <laughs> but if that won't um, throw my inspection sticker I may leave it it's probably not the smartest thing I'll probably I'll correct it at some point because I hate having warning lights on but otherwise that corrected everything that truly did get rid of all of the faults yep it really did that that's my issue. So, yeah, another 200 bucks for the tools, but now I can easily diagnose it without blowing myself up. Pretty slick. So, I guess I'm going to put that back together. Maybe put a little dielectric grease on the terminal. I don't know, maybe that'll help. But uh, it does appear that I may have a bad airbag. So... That's going to be the last thing I'm going to need to fix. I got a mirror on order to replace that one. It's the wrong color, but I'll paint the cover and that'll be good enough. Got that out of a junkyard for about 60 bucks. And uh, so, hmm, that may be about it for today. Pretty uh, anticlimactic because that's kind of what I thought it was going to be. But, as I said, this thing is running phenomenally well. Everything seems to work. Makes no stupid noises. It's kind of fun playing the fuel economy video game. Getting your Leafs <laughs> when you're done. I got a trophy on one of them. It's pretty neat. Uh, really cool seeing how you can get it to drive on the battery alone, which you can. Even it speeds upwards of 45 miles an hour, which is kind of cool. That really helps the economy if you can get to that point. But uh, this is really cool. So... We're getting close. Um, probably in the next few days I'm going to sit down and do some estimates on what the rest of my repairs are going to be for this thing and then we are going to do the final video as to what the cost was. And it's a little bit more than I'd hoped but it's still with this fuel economy and selling the other truck it's still going to pay for itself in a little maybe a year, a little over a year. So, alright, hope you're all having a good day. Happy Easter. Take care. Yep, and as soon as I plugged it back in, started it up, it went through its test, and bang. It's got the old fault again. We'll pop into here. Yep, same one. Phone has been connected. That's crazy. Uh, same thing, so that appears to be my problem. So I'm going to see what the heck I can do to not buy a new one. Um, maybe if there's a rebuild service or something out there that I can use, we'll find out. The phone uh, has been connected. Yeah, I know. Stop it. But uh, we'll find out. So anyway, hope you're all having a good day. Take care. Take care.